Oh, I can't even get the geoculus. Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! Yeah, yeah, how do we get up there? Yeah, I mean, but like, I mean, you are my guide, but that doesn't mean you know everything, like. Ugh. Just ugh. Well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. N no, I've already done that, and there was no way up. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Well, there's something floating in the sky right over there. I hey, let me do my job. Yeah, I see it. I see it, Paimon. Since can I can right I do place, the thing? It must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Mm. Yes, this must be the way. Unless it's a trap. I mean, it could be a trap. I'm not gonna lie, it could be. Wind blade. I guess not. No. Yo, let me to this stupid. Oh no no no. Oh <laughs> oh. It doesn't shoot us. We did fix that like a minute ago. Hmm. Uh, has a new idea. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the ballista? <laughs> Do you really hate me that much? Uh. <laughs> about the safety measures. May? <laughs> if I get shot from that thing, I'm either going feet first or head first. If I go head first, I'm dead. And feet first, I'm at least broken legs. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. True, but I don't think there is. <laughs> halt! No. Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Me. I already, like, fixed this thing, so I, I guess I'm hallowed now. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningguan's plan all along. Are you saying she's evil? Because that could be a possibility. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. I mean, we have an explained image, that is true. But, I mean, you could also be right. Uh, now Paimon's mad! You! Over there! This is a trick, Wait a isn't second. it? How it's the same shameless. guy. They're brothers. What is this? What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? Yeah, see, they don't even know what's going on. What nonsense! Seize these suspicious oh, intruders job, at once! Oh, great job, Paimon. You screwed us over. Well, here they come! Oh, what? Are Let we actually going to fight them? them <laughs> These people in this city are going to hate us. I'm just, like, hurting all the guards all the time. Stop. What's all this about? Wait, oh, it's Ketching. I just got you, Ketching. Lady Ketching. These two strange Kaching? people Is suddenly appeared. Or they seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. We... We... We, like, we... We fixed it, dude. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? I'm uh, Mr. Rune Soldier. We're invited guests here to look for the Lira Chising. Who are you? Have you not heard of us yet? <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Lira Chising. Uh, I don't remember who that is. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. The what? I know of you, traveler. Oh wait, you know you of me? You just said who are yes? who, who am I? What? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Well, how am I supposed to get up to the thing? Wow, Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. 
The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. Yeah, it was me and John, John, John Lee. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. Yeah, I kind of figured that. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paima <laughs> never would have thought. <laughs> Thinking isn't that hard, Paima. <laughs> anyway, for a mortal to uh. be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Chising. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it is true, we only did a part of work. Oh, right. So, at least Lady gathered Yang, the material. Might you have any idea why Lady Tian Chen invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Because we're cool. Just call me Kuching. Um, I'm gonna say catching. Like, like, catching something. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. Wait, she doesn't want me to side with the adept aren't the adepti the good guys we're not taking sides we spoke with the adepti yeah they want to protect Liu as yeah. well yeah exactly lady what's your problem when you say protect you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance aren't you i mean there is some of that yes huh? you are mortals and thus under their protection there was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god Okay. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. It's a possibility. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. In in what way? I'm I'm confused now. You mean like you killed him, or like what? what? Well, you've got a point there. Still. A person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. Yeah. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? So you're saying you did kill them? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Um. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. Because you guys killed the, the Rex Lapis. The time of the adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? So, like, literally everything you say makes me think you killed him. <gasps> Another super bold statement! Can I just ask if you killed him? <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. I actually get that a lot. <laughs> Oddly enough. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. How do I get there? Now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. Do you think I care about her schedule? The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Yeah, well, I'm not bringing any gifts. Favor? Mm. But, but... Wait, that's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Leo's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Leo's culture. Why are you always so greedy? All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. I don't want to well, break a freaking greeting gift. Jade Chamber first. Screw you guys. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion, and... Thanks for telling me my efforts are useless and wasted. Well then, may we meet again, Traveler? No, I don't... Why do they do that? Why do they never tell me? Like, they just do a screen that says that they tell me, but, like, I don't know what's going on. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. 
Uh, she did not make a good impression on me, so I can't say that. But I do agree with some of her views, I guess. So. so what should we give to Ningguan when we see her? <laughs> oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! What is it with you and slime? Like, I can't say I'm not, like, completely, like, against whatever that is. Because, I mean, like... I'd, I'd be willing Paimon to try. I'm feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguan. Would would it be though? Why don't we go with that for a gift? Oh. <laughs> Do you have a recipe? I need a recipe. I'm sorry. Recipes are the only way I can make anything. Nope. But Paimon's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka. What are you jingling now? Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one. And neither will our riches. Ugh. Oh. Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Did you not just see those guys that were standing there? Huh? Did you hear that? I, I, I don't know. It seems like it came from oh, what those the? ruins over there. Oh, Uh-oh. Uh it looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. So they are there. How did we not see them? In the cutscene until after. Like, yeah, like, they're right there. <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders, when their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. I don't really care. Just go away. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. There really is no need. We're just here for the sweet don't flower. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. Yeah, but like, we, we, we were probably going to kill them anyways. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. Without a bodyguard? Are you... Are you stupid? I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Ruins. Treasure hoarders. I never expect. What? <laughs> Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. I don't really care. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Yeah. Oh? And what might that be? The sweetest sweet flower. Do you have a box that can store presents? Oh. We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Cool. Great! Paimon's sugar frosted slime now comes in a beautiful package. That's good. Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. That was only like 10 seconds ago, though. Uncle Mung already told me about it. How? Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. They, those don't look very good. What? It's like their textures have been destroyed or something. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's... Yep, yep, yep! It's great! I guess. I don't know. I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Hang on a moment. Could we borrow one other thing? What the? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. Why do we care about this clay pot? If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. I don't think it matters. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Wait, did we just make Carefully it? Carefully now. Into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. I might have to make this in real life. Oh, yes. You might Except we don't have slimes in real life. freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Mm. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Yeah, that actually looks good. I mean, look at that thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Great! Now that we 
put all that we've got into this box. Let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. Sure. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? I don't think that was it. He looks confused. Yes. How many would you like? Wait, what? <laughs> it's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Oh, it's some secret organization type crap. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? I don't think that was today. I think that was yesterday. I think we're a little bit late now. Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? The who? The what? The heck's the Yuhang? I don't know what that is. Oh, we're up here. Cool. Hi, Lady Ningguang. Oh, those I've her been waiting confidants for you. actually look Returnee like the people from in the story. Karst. Returnee? <laughs> is that all I am to you? <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift! I hope you like it. No, I don't really care about her oh, giving her gifts. For me, you have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Nice place. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. Cool, I guess. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. How do you how do you build a floating palace? At first, it was but the size of one room. Now it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. Yes, but how? One day. I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. That's, um... Are you saying you're just gonna make, like, this massive city or something? That, like... Or a country? A floating country? How does that work? Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. Why are you in correspondence with her? As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. Cool. What? I don't really care. And I finally got wind of your watched. movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Okay. Wait! Was Ver Goldet one of your people? I don't remember him or her or who that was. <laughs> Just Ver Goldet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. Oh, wow. Everyone? Oh, dang. Did you just swear? <laughs> hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? She probably was. She's probably into that kind of crap. <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. No, that's good. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. Yeah. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Hmm, I don't know about that. Why don't we just continue the conversation? Why do I have to walk over here? I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Rings a bell. Many gods used to walk this earth. And many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. Okay. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the seven. So, like, are there more than seven elements then? There were just seven because there were seven that remained? You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Hmm, cool. 
Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days. Gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Mm, sad. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue. But the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget oh, Rex me. Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Who knows? Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Everybody is. Like, I... I don't care who you are, there's still a possibility. <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. I mean, maybe. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Huh? Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Oh, you're saying it's Zongli or something, right? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, huh? <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. <laughs> 